I'm a case maker, which means I produce the watch cases. The work all starts with the designer's plans like this. They're basically artistic drawings, freehand drawings. And from this we have to produce the part for manufacturing. The constraints are mostly to do with scale. We start with certain indications, such as the space between the horns or the thicknesses. From these we can set an approximate scale for the drawing, then we can start drawing and designing in three dimensions. For designing in 3D, it's as if we take one part and add three work planes perpendicular to each other. From there, we choose which surface is to be the base, and we design the shape we want. We can essentially do whatever we want on our basic work plane. This is the volume plane, and from it we can form a three-dimensional extrusion. We choose the shape we want to extrude and the direction we want to go in. This gives us our first 3D volume to work on and develop. For the design of the case middle, the first step involves extrusion. This enables us to create the shell of the part, something that's quite close to the design. From there, function by function, we extrude the sides of the part and slowly, function by function, we build up. We form the different shapes of the part until we end up with a piece that has the design that was chosen and is technically complete. Once we've drawn the case middle, we create our assembly. We have all the parts, including the crown, the crystal, the movement, the hands, and the crystal case back. From here, we send the file to one of our subcontractors, who produces stereolithographs, these little wax models, so we can examine, but also touch the part we've created in three dimensions. We're proud that everything fits together. There are no problems. It's water resistant and it looks good. We really want the whole thing to be attractive, neat and technically perfect. Yes, there's also a notion of perfection in what we do. I became a case maker because I'm part of the generation that grew up with Goldorak and Lego. I always wanted to build robots. But as I gradually grew out of that idea, I still had the urge to design and create things. Later on, I went into higher education to become a case maker. I have this urge to produce things that are neat and precise and to make sure a system really works.